Hi, my name is Nathan Lee. Uh, I'm going to talk about the GeoProbe ScreenPoint 15 and ScreenPoint 16 sampler. The sampler is mainly used for uh, whenever you want to do a discrete, take a discrete water sample, and as you drive it down, the screen sits inside the sheath and it's protected from the formation while you drive down into the formation to collect your water sample. So after you drive down, you can go ahead and set this up. Uh, at a depth and then pull it back and then you expose the screen out the bottom. That way everything's all protected until you're ready to take your water sample. The only difference between a screen point 15 and a screen point 16 is the sheath size. This one here is a 16, that one's a 15. This one's made for use under the GH60 hammer and this one is made for use under the GH40 hammer. And You never want to use the smaller sampler under a GH60 because it'll tear the screen up very rapidly. I'm going to go ahead and show how to uh, put together a screen point 16 sampler. Um, first take the sheath and there's a point that goes in the bottom of it. And that's down towards the neck end. And then you take the stainless steel screen and slide it in there. If you want to, instead of a stainless steel, we also have a PVC screen that you can use for sampling, a couple different varieties. And then after you put the screen in, go ahead and put in the drive head. And it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to drive down to 30, about 38 feet. There's a nice sand here, about 35 feet where I'm at. And the water table is around 20 feet, so uh, we'll have plenty of water down in that area to pull out of the sampler. So right now we're down at about 37 feet. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick some in extension rods into the tool string so that we can go ahead and pull up and that will help keep the sc screen in place while we pull back the sheath so when we deploy it the screen will stay where we want it to be. And since it has it's contained within a sheath when you drive it, it's pretty durable and you can uh, pretty much use it about anywhere you want to. I mean obviously if you get in a low yielding Formation. It's going to take a while for it to get water to go through, but at the same time, really, it's uh, pretty much wherever you want to use it, you can use it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the extension rods out. And you can see there's water there on this uh, this extension rod, so obviously we've exposed the screen and the water's come up inside the probe rods the way we want it to. I just have a uh, one of our uh, Geoprobe's tubing check valves on the bottom of this piece of tubing. I'm going to go ahead and just stick it in the probe and just pump out a little bit of water just to show that we have water in there. Okay, I'll go ahead and just pump a little bit out. And you can see the water's coming out of there, and that's from the from the sampler. This is the grout plug that's down the bottom of the screen, and I'm just going to show that it pops out with the run the extension rods down inside while it's in the ground, and put the special point popper on here, and then watch the plug down here at the bottom. I'll just pick up and drop on it, and see the plug came out of the bottom. When you have that popped out, you take this uh, grout tube, I'm just going to thread on a piece of tubing here, and it'll run down inside the screen, and then, and then it'll go out the end of, the, of your screen, so this way you can grout from the bottom up, but not plug your screen completely full of grout, so it makes decon a lot easier.